It is, um, I'd like to ask Diane Green to kindle the Shabbat lights for us. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we through our lives give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations who have kindled these lights, so may we be inspired to kindle these lights. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav, v'tihivotanu, lehad likner, lehad likner, shel shabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who makes us holy with mitzvot and who teaches us to kindle the lights of Shabbat. The heaven and earth were finished in all their array. On the seventh day, God finished the work that God had been doing, and God stopped on the seventh day from all the work that God had done. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy, because on that day, God ceased from all the work of creation that God had done. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei peri agafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav eratav anu, Veshabar kodcho beahava huvraton hinchilanu, Zikaran le maase bereshit, Kihu yom techila le mikrae kodesh, Zecher le tziad mitraim, Kivanu vachata. Viotanu kidashta mikol hamim veshabat kochecha beahavu vratzon hinchaltanu baruch atarunai mekadesh hashabat. Amen. L'chaim. Diane, thank you. Our opening reading um, is really, um, I love this reading partially because Rabbi Rachel Berenblatt grew up in 
San Antonio and I am very close with her, well, was very close with her mother and am still close with her um, father. And she is a really um, beautiful writer and rabbi. May the Shabbat that is coming bring comfort to all who grieve, sweetness to all who are in need and balm for our wounded places. May it bring us rest and gentleness and light. May Shabbat enable us to shed our world-weary weekday faces and to soak in gratitude and wonder. May we feel connected with the whom we love and with our deepest selves and with our source. May we emerge from Shabbat nourished and ready to meet the new week. For now, may we prepare ourselves to greet the Shabbat bride with joy. And we greet our Shabbat with, uh, with the Baruch Hu, with our call to worship. If you feel comfortable, please rise and go through all of the actions and the movements of Shabbat as if we were actually in a sanctuary. Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMavorach Baruch Adonai HaMavorach Le'olam va'ed. I was muted. <laughs> we prepare focus on the Shema, the watchword of our faith. Um, it seems appropriate to share one of the readings from uh, Mishkan Tefila about Torah because coming this week is Shavuot, is our festival that celebrates the giving of Torah. As you taught Torah to those whose names I bear, teach me Torah too. Its mystery beckons, yet I struggle with its truth. You meant Torah for me. Did you mean the struggle for me too? Don't let me struggle alone. Help me to understand, to be wise, to listen, to know. Lead me into the mystery. Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo, Yisrael. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem, Kevod Mahachuto, Le'olam va'ed. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha, v'chol levavcha u'v'chol nafshecha, u'v'chol me'odecha. V'hayu ha'dvarim ha'ele, asher anochi metzavecha, hayom ha'levavecha. V'shinantam levanecha, v'dibarta ba'am, v'shivdecha b'vetecha, u'vlechtecha v'aderech, u'vshoch becha u'vkumecha. Ukshartam leot dal yadecha, vehayulitot dafot bene necha. Uchtavtam amazuzot betecha, uvisharecha. Leman tizkeru veasitem et komitz votai, vitem kedoshim lelohechem. Ani adonai lohechem. Asher hotei tietchem me'aret mitzrayim li'od lachem le'elohim. Ani Adonai Elohechem. Micha Mocha is the song that we sang as Israelites as we crossed the Red Sea, as we came from the narrow places of slavery into the possibility of what it meant to be free, the possibilities of redemption. And so every time we sing the Micha Mocha, we proclaim not only God's greatness, we also proclaim the possibilities of freedom. We sing together. Mocha Nedar 
Bakodesh, Mikamoha Baeli Madonai, Mikamoha Neda Bakodesh. No Ratehilot, O Sepele, No Ratehilot, O Sepele, Adonai. Shahu Miriam, Ze Elia Nuve Amru, Ze Elia Nuve Ameru Adonai Loch Leolam Vae. Yai Lai 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 The celebration of Micha Mocha of the possibilities of freedom reminds us of God's greatness and God's ability to help us when we need strength to um for us to call upon God when we need strength. And I think that's why the Hashkivenu continues to have so much power and meaning for each of us to call upon God when we are struggling for a Sukkot Shalom, for God to be for us a source of strength and provide whether it is a literal shelter of peace or a spiritual shelter of peace. And especially during these most uncertain, ambiguous, anxious times, to provide that shelter of peace is so important. If there are people whom you know who are really needing a shelter of peace at this time, you may always use the chat. We sing together. Ashkivenu asks for God to provide a shelter of peace upon each of us. And nothing to me is more sheltering than the gift of Shabbat, that set aside time when we take a break, when we separate ourselves from the rest of the week. And so 
how better to celebrate that than together and with the gift of music. And so we sing Bishamru. Bishamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat la'asot et ha-shabbat le'dorotam berit olam Bishamru v'nei Yisrael Shabbat, la sort at Hashabat, led Doro Tamberi do lam. Vain you vain, Bene Israel, O Tile o lam, O Tile o lam, Vesham ru, Bene Israel, et Hashabat. La sort at Hashabat, led Doro Tamberi to Lam. He shaded Yamim, Asadonai, Asadonai, et Hashamayim, ve et ha aret veshamru, vene Israel, et Hashabat. La sort at Hashabat, led Doro Tamberi to Lam. Uvayom Hashvi Shabbat by Nafash, Shabbat by Nafash, Shabbat by Nafash, Veshamru Bene Israel, Et Hashabat, La Sot Et Hashabat, Led Doro Tamberi to Lam, Veshamru Bene Israel, Et Hashabat, La Sot Et Hashabat, Led Doro Tamberi to Lam. Oh, what happened? <laughs> My goodness. We Lost went to the ground the there. Yeah. Oh, that looks better. Yeah. Maybe not. It is fighting me today. All right. We are um, we are in the Amidah, we are in the Tefillah, both mean the same thing. The Amidah means standing prayer, Tefillah means prayer, and by Tefillah we mean the center liturgy of our service. If you feel comfortable, please rise. Adonai sefatai tiptach ufi agitehi Adonai, open up my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu, Velohe Avotenu, Ve'imotenu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Velohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Velohe Leah. Ha el ha gadol ha gibor ve ha nora el el yon gomel chasadim tovim ve kone ha kol ve zocher chasde avot ve imahot u mevi gula liv nevene ham le maan shemo be ahava melech ozer u moshia u magen baruch atadonai. Magen Avraham ve Ezrat Sara, Atagi Borle Lamadonai, Mechaye Hakola Tarav Lehoshia, Mechalkel Chayim Bechesed, Mechaye Hakol Berachamim Rabim, So Mech Noflim Verofe Holim, Umatir Asurim. O mekaye memunato li shenea far mi kha mo kha ba gevurot o mi do melach melach me mi tu mekaye o mat mi ach yeshua vene mana tale hakhayot hakol 
Baruch atah Adonai mechaye hakol. Ata kadosh v'shim cha kadosh u'kedoshim b'chol yom yehalelu chasela. Baruch atah Adonai ha'el hakadosh. Please be seated if you are still standing. So for the last couple of months, we have explored the idea of what it means to be thankful, even when times are challenging. And I heard in the last couple of weeks, a really beautiful um, reminder that we can hold multiple emotions at the same time, that things don't have to be either or, that it's okay to be angry or scared and grateful. It's okay to be frustrated and unsure and happy. And in, uh, for so many of us, we think that there's an either or when there is uh, so, when there is an and. And um, I said, and, and in these times when we are so challenged with what is happening with unknown, uh, with the fear of disease, with knowing so many who are struggling with job loss or with illness, uh, it's also okay to hold some sense of gratitude or finding something really beautiful, more time with family, time not so busy, time to explore a new hobby. All of these are beautiful and okay. So as we sing Shalom Rav, if you have found these blessings, these silver linings, these moments of gratitude, take a moment and share them in the chat. As we think of the many blessings and gifts in our lives, we also know that there are many who are struggling, struggling with physical illness, mental illness, with so many different kinds of struggles. And so we turn to our prayer for healing to our Misha Bera. And if there are some people that you love or any that you love who are struggling with, uh, with illness, 
a physical, emotional, any kind of illness at this time, I invite you to lift up their names in the chat at this time that we can all as a community pray for them for a healing body and of spirit as we sing together. We take a moment now for silent prayer and reflection. Our Torah portion this week is called in Hebrew Bamidbar, and um, I am really fascinated by this change in the book. So we're, we've left Leviticus finally. You made it. You got through the book of Leviticus, and now we are in the book of Bamidbar. And in order to move forward in, in Bamidbar, I want to touch back. All the way back, actually, back to Michamocha, back to Egypt. In Egypt, we were in Mitzrayim. The word Mitzrayim uh, is how we talk about Egypt. Um, we were slaves and we found freedom um, coming through and out of Egypt. 
And our faith identity, our entire being as Israelites and then as Jews, is centered around our slavery and then freedom, that momentary experience. And yet what's fascinating to me and has been fascinating to me for many years is we have very few details in Torah um, of our lives as slaves. We don't know what we did every day. We don't know what it was really like. Um, we have this summary of their personal suffering. We know um, basically a few verses that their suffering was very great. And that's why Moses and God heard them and removed them. And the narrative of our flight from slavery with miracles and wonder and plagues and the Red Sea parting is the focus, not the daily existence and travails of what it meant to be a slave. Bamidbar is the reverse. The entire book is the reverse. It's filled with details. It's filled with life as an Israelite wandering. The Israelites are wandering through a wilderness. In fact, Bamidbar means in the wilderness. Sometimes we'll say in the desert. I like the word wilderness. And it's dealing with the mundane realities of gathering food. You could say pitching tents, establishing rules, setting up leadership, creating customs. So we have lots and lots of details, unlike the slaves. And along the way, we have moments, really big, extreme moments with God, where we have miracles and moments and wonder and faith formation. But most of the time, we're seeing details. And so throughout our spiritual experience from Torah forward, we're asked to remember Egypt, for we were slaves in Egypt. We're never asked to remember Bamidbar, remember the wilderness, or remember the desert. And yet, I wonder if it could be that remembering the wilderness, remembering Bamidbar, could be more important. The word Mitzrayim comes from the word narrow places. Not only were we slaves, we were in a narrow and stuck place. And what is a midbar? Ba mean bar means in the wilderness. So when I say midbar, I mean wilderness. So what is a wilderness? It's open. It's anything is possible. I, I think if you saw, Jane, I'm gonna call on you for one moment. If you saw Jane's iPad and the beauty of that landscape, right? It means possibility, right? The Midrash teaches that the wilderness is the place for human transformation. It's in the wilderness that the Israelites were able to transform themselves into a people of faith. And I think it's why for so many of us, we find connection, solace, and spirituality in nature. We can feel what's possible because the space around us is also open and soothing. And so the metaphor or metaphors of the wilderness are about our continued possibilities, our continual transformations as individuals and as a faith. And we know that being in wilderness is not easy, being in constant transformation is not easy. And so journeying with the Israelites through this book can and will feel long. The Israelites made a lot of mistakes, they got in a lot of trouble, and the book is a long book. And we might want this journey to be dramatic and momentary as it was when we left Egypt. And we have to stay open and humble to the possibilities that the Midbar brings. And so it seems to me pretty uh, unbelievable, and yet the ancient rabbis are really wise 
this Torah portion is always read the week before Shavuot. It's always read the week before we receive Torah. Because as we begin a journey, we're scared and we might need that moment of grandeur. And so we need that moment when we're receiving Torah on Sinai. And then we head into this festival. We head into this journey with understanding that God is with us. Shavuot is probably one of the least known of the major Jewish festivals, probably because there's actually no prescribed ritual to hang our hat on. Uh, we, the rituals came much, much later. So during Shavuot, we celebrate the giving of Torah on Sinai, and we pray and study and remember those whom we miss. And we recognize that walking through the metaphors of wilderness, we have strength with us. We have Torah and we have God, even as we know our transformations and our faith transformations will always continue. So I hope you'll consider, this is the commercial part of the uh, sermon. I hope you'll consider joining myself and Deb and Rabbi Shauna and our two guests for Shavuot on Thursday evening, uh, May 28th at 8 p.m., of course, on Zoom. Um, and as we journey through Midbar, through the wilderness, we will remember that anything is possible if we stay open and those transformations are really, really beautiful. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Um, you know, when you told me what you were going to talk about today, um, it reminded me of the story of Nachshon, who is uh, Aaron's brother-in-law, who, um, you know, they're fleeing Egypt, right? So he's this ex-slave and they're getting ready to cross the sea. And the fear and the, un and the fear of the unknown, here's this wide expanse of sea. Um, and maybe some people feel that way about the future. I don't know, but you have to, you have to find the faith and the audacity to, to actually move forward. And so this song, um, you know, starts with Nakshon. He's stuck between the Egyptians behind him and this water in front of him that he can't see the other side of. And this is uh, an expression of how he gets through that and what he does. I put one foot in the water just to test my resolution. I'm not sure I've got exactly what it takes. But as my body's getting colder, my intent is growing bolder, and I push my limitations till they break. I don't care if this ends up a big mistake. And I'll cross that bridge I will not hide. I'll see what's on the other side. I'll step beyond the world I've come to know. And I won't let questions hold me back. My faith is more than what I lack. It's courage over reason where I'm going. I'm headed where my spirit's free to roam. to this place I'm about to head for sure but something's stirring at my core I know the time has come for me to find my way and I know that I am different today and I'll cross that bridge I will not hide I'll see what's on the other side. I'll step beyond the world I've come to know. And I won't let questions hold me back. 
My faith is more than what I lack. It's courage over reason where I'm going. I'm headed where my spirit's free to roll. I'm coming home. Now I'm standing with my head above the water, taking a breath before I slip into the sea. Saying a prayer as I prepare to cross the border. Then right before my eyes, the crimson sea divides. And I'll cross that bridge, I will not hide. I'll see what's on the other side. I'll step beyond the world I've come to know. And I won't let questions hold me back. My faith is more than what I lack. It's courage over reason where I'm going. I'm headed where my spirit's free to roam. I'm coming. Thank you, Deb. That was beautiful. Let's see if it works this time. We turn to to Alenu. If you are comfortable, please rise. Let us adore the ever living God and render praise unto you who spreads out the heavens and established the earth, whose glory is revealed in the heavens above and whose greatness is manifest throughout the world. You are our God, there is none else. Vanachnu korim umishtachavim umodim lipne melech malche hamlachim hakadosh baruchu Benemar vehayadonai lemelech al kol haaretz Bayom hahu, bayom hahu, yie adonai echad Ushemo, ushemo we turn now to our time of remembering. We turn our thoughts to yesterday, to a world that lives only in our memory. As we recall the days gone by, we know that the past is irretrievable. Yet through the gift of memory, we recapture treasured moments and images. We are thankful for the happiness we knew with those no longer here, with whom we lived and laughed and loved. We praise the eternal spring of life who links yesterday to tomorrow. We affirm that despite all the tragedy bound up with living, it is still good to be alive. We understand that there can be no love without loss, no joy without sorrow. May we have the courage to accept the all of life, the love and the loss, the joy and the sorrow, as we remember them. On this Shabbat, we remember in Shiva in the first week since their dying, Justin Scharf, and in Shloshim in the first month, Norman Hyams. And we mark the yard sites, the anniversaries of death that fall on this Shabbat, Sam Barnett, Alfred A. Benish, Howard Bloomfield, Helen Weiss Cohn, Nathan L. Dobby, Leopold Dub, Rosa Dub, Dorothy, Dorothy B. Eisner, Paul Morris Epstein, 
Lewis Fox, E. Selman Gams, Blanche Lyons Gansman, Irene Dettelback Goldhammer, Betty Stodder Goldsmith, Anne Goodman, Harry Gorin, Richard Gusky, Jack Herman, Samuel B. Hibschman, Mildred Wertheim Kane, Oscar Kohlberg, Harold Lefkowitz, Samuel Levy, Edward I. Liebenthal. Our griefs and sympathies are mingled and together we share in the words of the mourners' Kaddish. Yit Gadal, Viet Kadash, Shemei Rabbah, Vialma, Divra, Yerute, Vialmlich, Malchute, Vachayechon, Uvyomechon, Uvchaye de Chol, Beit Yisrael, Vaagala, Uvizman, Kari, Vimru, Amen. Yehe Shme Rabba Mivorach Leolam Alme Almaya Yit Barach Viet Tabach Viet Paar Viet Romam Viet Naste Viet Hadar Viet Tale Viet Halal Shme de Kudisha Berehu Leila Min Kol Birchata Vishirata Tush Bachata Venechamata Da Amiran Bialma Vimru Amen Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shamaya Min Shamaya Bechayim aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael bi'imru. Amen. Ose shalom bimromav uya ase shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael bi'imru. Amen. May the one who, who creates harmony on high bring peace to us and to all of Israel, and we say, Amen. So we join now in closing song, Maya Fehayom. May God bless you and keep you. May the light of God's presence shine upon you and be gracious to, to you. Shalom. May God lift up each one of us and may God bring us shalom, peace, and wholeness. Amen. Shabbat shalom. Amen. Shabbat shalom.